Hi guys, Hamza the Muslim apologist is pretty chaotic and even fails at putting together a playlist it seems. After part one comes a part nothing followed by episode two and then part five which in turn is followed by seven. Yeah okay. What is important is his misconception and misrepresentation of atheists, those who simply don't have a good reason to believe gods and goddesses exist. So I'll call this number three. I don't go around and say all Muslims are terrorists just because there are some who are. I don't attack anyone and never have. I use words to critique a pernicious, misogynistic and inhumane ideology in order to build bridges, not walls. To do that, I first need to tear down the walls Muslims have built around their person and belief. By using words to convey facts and appeal to logical, rational and critical thinking. By responding to Muslim apologist claims to show that these are false claims. So, yes, until someone demonstrates a god or goddess, they don't exist. That is the default. If anyone believes something exists without evidence and vehemently defends their position and even attacks others for not doing so, yes, they are delusional. That's why we have this word. And yes, if you believe that there is a being, a deity in the sky or somewhere that created all humans, it's crazy to do so given the evidence that this is not the case. And given this background, telling others that this, what he is delivering here, is a powerful tool is pretty useless. He can't think of anything substantial, so simply repeats and then stammers for a while. Of all the Islam apologists I've come across, he's right up there with the most ignorant, using the most vapid, nonsensical, and illogical claims. Well, case in point, his claim that I am naive if I don't believe something without a shred of evidence, what more can I say? That's exactly the point. Yeah, right. What is the point of his video? Well, nobody knows. It's just you know, an announcement once again that something great will come shortly, the best as ever in the history of the universe. Just saying they'll talk to an atheist, not an apatheist. Wow, isn't that one? Oh, yeah. Stick around. Maybe we'll really get to see something great. Who knows? See you in the next video. Bye.